welcome back to my channel it's so good to see you guys if you are new please do like subscribe and share if you are not well welcome back so it has been an amazing day i hope you also had an amazing day a beautiful day and yeah so today we are going to talk about how to use your faith to shape your destiny and as you all know i do like writing down my notes of what i'm going to talk about in my diary and yeah so let's get into it so as we are talking about how to use your faith to shape your destiny we need to know what faith is according to the bible you know and the bible says from the book of hebrews that faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so faith is the substance of things hoped for so it's something that you hope for and it's the evidence of things not seen so your faith is what carries your goal or your vision or what you want to do because you believe that you're going to do it right so you know that it's going to happen but sometimes our faith just ah it's so low you know you know like our faith is, is something you're just like oh my goodness it's not more going to happen and sometimes you don't we don't believe in ourselves anymore so I'm just here to kind of like tell you like or help you out how to shape your faith or how to use your faith to shape your destiny so you know when your faith is low this is the time that you need to keep asking for it you need to keep praying to the Lord for it and you should not give up you should be persistent because when you are persistent you are building your faith when you are praying to the Lord you are building your faith you know when you keep praying then the Lord will surely answer you one day but then if you are hoping for something and you don't pray about it it might never happen you know and you'll go through and as Christians honestly you will go through challenges and you'll go through challenging times and you must keep your trust in the Lord this is the time when when we are going through all these challenges and storms in life this is the time where you must keep your trust in the Lord and keep your faith you know even in troubling times always keep your faith always keep your faith you know build on it this is the time where you need to pray more you need to pick, uh, speak to yourself more you need to do affirmations more so that you do not lose your faith so that you you do not give up on your dreams or on your goals you need to shape your destiny it's very very important and there is a fight of faith in christianity it's a fight of faith you don't just give up because something is not going your way you pray and try again it's a fight of faith guys and if you put your trust in god you will be fulfilled and you, you will dominate your world and your circumstances because if you put your trust in the lord the lord will always make a way for you he will always lead you he will always guide you and he will make you prosperous you know because he said in the book of deuteronomy i will never leave you nor forsake you and I've made you victorious. You are more than a conqueror. The Lord said you are more than a conqueror. So if you abide in him and you trust in him and you have faith in him and you talk to him, you pray, you, you do your meditations, what makes you think that you will fail? It might not happen at the time that you want it to happen, but it will eventually happen. The Lord will eventually answer you. You know, and remember that success is at different stages in our lives so just because you are doing something now and you think you're not a success what if you are a success to god at the, at the stage that you are right now you know because success is at different stages in our lives and you are born to be a success you are born to be successful maybe you want to be successful right now but this is not the right time for you according to the lord's calendar this is not your season and maybe this is the time that the lord is grooming you and growing you so that when that time comes you'll be ready and prepared for that success that or for that thing that you have been asking the lord for so don't give up keep praying keep asking keep being persistent keep believing because believing and hope and faith they work hand in hand you cannot have faith and you don't believe you cannot have faith and not have hope because when you have faith you need you you also have hope you also have belief because they work hand in hand okay 
and we also remember this is very important that you must remember th that um bad things do happen to good people bad things do happen to good people guys <laughs> like just because you are good it doesn't mean that bad things won't happen in your life bad things do happen to good people so the question is what are you going to do to do about it what are you going to do about it if you say that something in your life is not going the, the way that you planned it to go what are you going to do about it are you just going to sit around and mop or are you going to take some action going to do about it you know because you need to find the problem you need to find the problem so that you can do something about that problem so that you can make it into a solution so that you can make it into something that you wished and wanted because that problem you are the one to change it you are the one to change it so look for the problem and set it straight because you are blessed and an heir of god you need to look for that problem you need to look for that problem and set it straight and remember that problems always come from the devil so how do you set it straight by praying if you see that things are not going right in your life pray pray against that thing you know if you see that oh lord i asked for a b c and d and i didn't get it yet pray to god keep praying keep building your faith and if you see that okay um till now i didn't get it maybe then look for the problem what is the problem you know what is the problem and then speak against that pray against that because you know your life is all about what you say because remember the bible says out of your heart the abundance speak so if every day you are speaking the wrong thing if every day you are saying oh my, i won't get it i have failed my life is not a success i'm poor nobody loves me nobody will give me a b c d e so if you are saying those words of course that's how your life will turn out to be because you are shaping your life your words shape your life so if you're speaking po positive words every single day you are you, you are affirming the right words you you keep declaring oh i'm a success oh i will pass this oh i'm going to do that yes i'll have a business in three years time you'll be amazed you'll be amazed like how you get that business because your words your words form your life your words are your life they are the ones that break you or build you so build your faith build your faith and how do you build your faith by praying and by speaking it by praying by speaking it by affirming it by declaring it even if you have to look in the mirror every day and speak those words those words of faith do what you have to do as long as you don't give up on your dreams you don't give up on your faith you don't give up on your visions and goals and plans and one day you will make it you will make it you will make it and i believe you will so that's all i had to say today and have a great day have a beautiful day i love you you are amazing and as I always say, never ever give up on your dreams. Never. Because they are going to happen. And remember, you are born to be great. You are born to be a victor. And you are more than a conqueror. I love you and do subscribe and share. Bye.